I will start by painting a rose on the upper part of the paper. You will notice that the paint on the inner core of the rose is more concentrated. This will help to add depth to the painting. As I go along with the outer petal of the rose, I gradually added water to the brush to achieve the loose floral effect. I continue on painting and repeat the same process. I'm adding hydrangea as filler for our riff. I love painting hydrangeas as they are simple and easy to paint. I decided to paint another rose, and this time, a darker shade. Here's another rose the same shade. Also add the second layer paint on each rose to add more volume. I continue on painting by repeating the same process. Attempted to paint a slanted rose. I'm not sure if I achieved it. <laughs> and again, my favorite hydrangea. Check out my daily art post on my Instagram account at Medj Hermohenes and Facebook page Medj Hermohenes. I'm now painting some roses to fill in the gaps and form a heart shape. decided to add
head drain to the center of each rose. Now that I have a pattern for the heart shape, I'm just now filling the gaps in between the flowers. I am not trying to perfect the flowers. For me, the looser they are, the better. with more flowers so that I can add leaves later. For a pop of color, I'm adding this maroon imaginary flower. some leaves. using different shades of green to achieve that natural and fuller look. More leaves! Another 